time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Okay, Tommy asked this question. He says, John and Wayne. Uh, Wayne Z is what he says, but uh, I kind of like that. Do you I think like Demo makes the team? Okay, now we're talking about Diamador Lenore. Again, this another tough, versatile man. corner. Jeez. Um, this is going to hurt. Okay, so here's the issue. Going into the offseason, everybody thought he would have the chance to compete for that slot corner. But if you notice during our slot corner debate, we didn't even mention his name. We didn't Why even is mention that? his name, bro. He wasn't getting work there. He was getting work outside. Outside. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be an outside guy. Now, if that's the case, okay, and here's how I had this question phrased. Who are the number two, number three, and number four corner? That's what I think is going to be because I think the number two, three, and four corner make the roster. They all make it. But good gosh, Ambry Thomas, Manuel Mosley, Jason Verrett, whatever order you want to put those guys in, holy freaking cow, that's that's tough. The 49ers put themselves in a bunch of pickles. But these are good pickles, though, right? These are These are good situations for the 49ers to find a way to work themselves out. What's going on, Melissa? So here we go, right? The two guy. I, I guess you can say it's going to be Emmanuel mostly. I would as well. I would as well. I think and he gets it week one. I would take Thomas over Verrett. But I'm taking Verrett. So those are my four guys. Yeah. Well, we you're t- probably going to keep five. Okay. So now we got to figure out the fifth. Are you cool with those four? Yeah, yeah. I, now, the order gets a little weird. Um I think Tom, I think for when Verrett's on, I think he's the best of the group. Yeah, I think that's crazy. He's probably mostly like number the one. most consistent. And mm-hmm. I think Thomas has the most upside long term. There it is. Um, now, mostly and Verrett are on the last one year deals. Uh, that's all that's left. Mostly it. was a two year deal, but he, this is his last year. But yeah, I would go in that order that you and Coach Cruz said. Mostly Verrett Thomas. That would be, my, but you put Thomas ahead of Verrett? I do because I. I don't I don't know about I mean if we're talking like healthy Verrett, then I put Verrett too. Okay. So yeah. if we're talking healthy Verrett, Verrett would be the two guy, mostly would be the three guy, and then Thomas would be the four guy. So here's the question because you're gonna keep six corners. Last year the 49ers kept five outside, one inside. Ooh. So okay, if we're talking Samuel Womack, and again, this is why it's so important to, you know, these these conversations go well together. Team, though, John. Yeah, who say that again? He could play outside too. Who? Womack. I know he's been getting to work oh. inside, but he can play outside. So Dark West Denard, he's making it. Yes. Our four corners we just talked about in Charvarius Ward, uh, in a, no particular order. Charvarius Ward, tough. mostly this Verrett, and then Thomas. That's five. So you've got one extra corner spot. Do you keep Samuel Womack or this do you keep Diamador Lenore? And if that's the case, I guarantee you Diamador Lenore. Unfortunately, not making the roster. If you're but how is that? Best. How so? He, so he, even though he's on a rookie contract, they would cut him. Yeah, because and again, you would try to keep him. This is the exact same thing that happened to Z's, happened to Kendrick Bourne, happened to Daniel Brunskill, happened to uh man, I'm missing some more people. They're on their four. Uh, Marcel Harris. They're on their four year deal. They get cut or waived. Juwan Jennings. They they didn't make it. Injuries, whatever, doesn't matter. They bring them back on the practice squad. When that happens, they come back on basically a league minimum deal, a yeah. one year deal. That's where you get the restricted free it's agent all business, and all bro. that kind of stuff. And so, but the the risk is DJ Reed, right? All those Seattle other people we were up. able to stash and got lucky. DJ Reed, he started for Seattle now. So, do you think the 49ers shelved? Diamador Lenore for this type of a situation? I ain't put it past Kyle Shanahan. I'm not either. Right now. Because I, again, I, you look at those corners, listen to, again, Manuel Mosley, one-year deal, right? Jason Verrett, one-year one deal. One-year deal. So you got Ward, you've got Ambry Thomas locked up for more than one year. Demo would be number three next year, right? Yes, sir. Maybe Tariq Castro Field take that spot, I don't know. But it gives you that depth on a cheap deal. But would somebody snatch Demo? That's the question. So so is it possible that the rookies won't make the team? And how do they rework that money? Yeah, again, it, it, it's the same thing. Basically, if they get cut and nobody mm-hmm. picks them up, mm-hmm. now if they somebody picks them up, they stay on that deal. 
So if they okay. get claimed off waivers, okay. that contract goes with them, the four-year uh, rookie deal. However, gotcha. if nobody picks them up and the 49ers bring them back on the practice squad, brand new, reworked, one-year vet minimum deal almost always. See, this is dope. The 49ers be on some different, different. Think about it, yo. They knew, what they, they knew what they were doing when they signed these guys to these contracts. They might have signed them to some weird type of contract that other teams might not want to pick up the four-year deal. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and if you look at defensive tackle, I think that's probably another one that fits in this as well. They have four defensive tackles on one-year deal. They go draft Kalia Davis. Guess what? Kalia Davis, he's tore his ACL. Kalia wow. Davis ain't going to count against this roster spot, but because his injury was an NFI, non-football injury, because it happened before he was drafted, they get to shelve him for a year. <sighs> So it was a, easy, a, a red shirt due to a non-football. They were smart. Yeah. That's smart business. And yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. So let's go back. Let's finish this. Put a bow on the uh, quarter issue before we jump out of here. Six quarters. I think you and I agree on this. Six Which total, means, though. That means that includes the nickel, too? Yeah. So I'm going Dark West. Nice. No particular order. These are just the six I have making it currently. Okay. Dark West and Art, Samuel Womack, I think they both make it. And okay. then your four outside guys that we've been talking about. Ward, Verrett, Mosley, Thomas, which means Tariq Castro-Fields, Amador Lenore, cut. and all the undrafted free agents. Cut. cut, cut, cut. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Dude, if Lenore don't make this squad, he going straight to Seattle, bro. You think so? I or think the Rams. So. He go, he's going to want that Some team's going to pick him up. I like him too much, He's man. He's got dog in him, yo. Hyena, right? Isn't that what he called himself? Mm -hmm. Hyena, I mean. Mm -hmm. 